Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Jay Lee's Corner. This is our review for Love and Hip Hop Hollywood the Season 5, Episode 4. And, you know, some things happen in this episode. And we kind of see the beginning stages of a porno tape. Um, if you have not done so already, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. And do not subscribe and don't do nothing. If you subscribe, I need you to subscribe and watch the video. Like, like be an active subscriber okay and then after you be an active subscriber make sure to hit the notification bell because it lets you know when i have new videos you can share my videos on your instagram my well, not instagram but on twitter on your facebook and whatever share 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 and do not forget to like the videos thank you um so this you know love and hip-hop hollywood um it's not fake to me yet you know every season we like it's either really really real it's real fake and we hate it or it's just boring um it's not boring and it's not fake i'm liking how you know i'm interested for the most part in most of it okay um it's still some bullshit parts in between but for the most part it's, it's turning out to be a, a nice season but again it's only episode four so we see the beginning stages of the porno tape leakage, okay? That's what I'm going to call the situation. We see Tierra and Akbar first, okay? And Akbar gives me all kind of let's set him up for the okie doke tease um, all day, all night. I feel like he is waiting to make a plan to say, you know what? This is a way to get you popping. Like, let me just do something on your face and then let's leak it. And then we, you can say, I did it. And we'll find out that, oh, no, it was some random assistant who you fired. And, we, you know, what I'm saying? I get that from him. Like, he just plotting and planning from the beginning. So, you know, she had a video shoot for her video. I think it's called Vacation. That's out. I like the song. I do. I do. I, I like it. A little. Not a lot. A little. Um, he supposedly, oh, he has a studio. He's a this, he's a that, he's an A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. She's giving him all the praise of how he's, he's oh so successful and how great he is and she needs in her life. Girl, bye. Um, he seems to not like her hanging out with Nikki. I'm like, but you saw the show that they hang out together, but it is what it is. I don't like when anyone new comes in and don't like your friends. Bitch, you secondary to them, okay? You just got here. You don't have the right to tell them to be friends with. Get out of my face is what I would have said. But anyway, and she was bringing up how Nikki, they were at that party before. Oh, you drinking? No, I wasn't drinking at that party. He like, well, I don't want you to relapse. Of course, she like, I don't want, you know, that being brought up or whatever. I'm good on where I can handle myself. And, well, yeah, you want these parties with Nikki. I just, I just don't like it. Like, she's not in the industry. He, she like, look, she's my friend. And she invited me to this other industry event. And I'm going to go to, you know, I just need you to calm down, bruh. And let me be. So, you know, I need a strong man in my life. I like how he's kind of hard on me. And, you know what I'm saying, he, he lets me know what I need to do. <sighs> I continue before the beatings leave me alone. You know, and then he doing a little video thing. And it's recording. He like, cut, cut, no, move. He makes the male model who's got his shirt off move. Say, mom, we need some real chemistry. And then he take his shirt off. And he wasn't all that with a shirt off. And he like, okay, now nah, shoot. Now nah, you, okay, now nah, you, uh, you a male model? You a video vixen? Get your ass off my goddamn screen. Anyway. Okay, so I'm guessing Donatella is a real um, cast member or something. Because this is the second time we didn't see her. First of all, I don't like her voice. Okay? And I love an accent. I love an accent. For some reason, I'm not here for her at all. Um, so she's, I guess, a radio host now there. And, you know, first of all, I also don't like her wig. Her wig, the lace front, was African American, and her skin is n this is not African American, so it is it just didn't match. I just didn't like it. So it was Lyrica was there, uh, a one wife Lyrica, but also her mom, whose name was also Lyrica. So Lyrica, her mom was there. 
doing the show. It was some random dude in the back. I'm like, why do I keep showing him? Like, who is he? He's not even a cast member. And his haircut was fucked up, too. Lyrica wig looked bad, okay? It was too puffy. It looked like she had a pigtail in it, and it like a pigtail in it, and it was poking out. Her mama's wig was a plum D mess, okay? Her mama wig looked like crackhead wig. You know what? It's a crackhead. I can realize it's crackheads. I saw a lot of crackheads in my life. Her mama wig looked like a crack, like the neighborhood crackhead who like go to the store for people, and the wig always looked dusty and dingy. Like she never combed it. That's the kind of I'm like, mama, you ain't got no better wig than that. Like it looked like she just pulled it from up under the bed and like hadn't brushed it in a year. Like that one wig you buy, you wear it once to a party and you dance in it. You dance, 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 dance. And so now it's all messed up and it's all nappy and, 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 and you need to brush it real bad. But you don't feel like it. So you just like throw it away. Like not away. But you like put it in a chair somewhere and it may sit in that chair for like four weeks. And you're like, you know what? I got to run this toe. And you pull out that dirty wig. Her mom had on a, on, a, on a dirty wig. A dirty looking wig. It's whatever. Her face. Lyrica's face. Uh, child Lyrica. She has Hazel E's old face. You can't tell me no different. I posted on my Instagram page. She has Hazel E's old face. And I don't like it. You know. So from now. <laughs> I'll be going off. I'm so sorry. Donna Teller bring up the whole. We all know a friend of yours who was in the news recently. You know Safari. is in the news because of that whole dick pic. My husband has a wonderful dick. And that's the only one I'm concerned with. Are you sure? Because I, st- I still don't f- I can't imagine them having sex. I can't. Like, because I think A1 ha- does it. I think he doesn't have any rhythm, stroke wise. I just, I just, it's, just a, it's an off stroke. I, it is, it is. I just, I don't know what it is. Anyway, um, her mama then said, well, I saw the picture of Safari. And I saw the dick. And it ain't that, it wasn't that big to me. Well, what kind of dick you used to dealing with? Because Safari's penis is large, okay? I mean, it ain't elephant large, but it's, you know, it may knock over a cervix, you know what I'm saying? It can, it can rupture your uterus. I mean, just some things, I don't know. Anyway, her mama then, Don said, okay, so what do you have going on, Lyrica Mama? I'm like, who asked? Why, I, who, I like, I don't, that's like if Ashanti and her mama go to the radio station, someone say, well, Ashanti's mama, what do you have going on? She not, what? What what? Now this part I said was fake and fugazi. Okay, she then says when I'm working on my EP, are you with who? With who? Girl, bye. I'm working on my EP and I have a song coming out called What Goes Around Karma. She sings Lil Diddy. What goes around Karma? And that was she, it was something like that. And then said so that song goes to that bitch K Michelle. I said no when what what? Oh yeah, I saw the whole stuff on Twitter. Like, what's going on? And now you have lyric, both lyricas going back and forth with each other. You know, child. I'm saying child because she's a one wife. Lyrica saying, you know, what I'm saying I don't speak about peasants, but I'm like, but Lyrica, you a peasant? But I guess that might be why you don't talk about yourself. Um, Mama Lyrica then says, you know, well, I rolled up on K Michelle at her concert, and I told I was trying to talk to her, or whatever, because I can't believe what she said and what she did. She looking like why would you do that like that's just you know what I'm saying you should have left that up to me mama you should not have you know dealt with that or whatever because K Michelle is the industry cum dumpster I said the cum dumpster let me not let me, first of all I felt like that was a low dig I don't see K Michelle I don't think she's a cum dumpster at all at, I don't I don't think that I mean when you think of a cum dumpster the the, the title or the label come from women who sleep with multiple men in the industry and they just like Superhead was a cum dumpster because she was just fucking the people and they were just passing around. Th- those that t- title to me is for groupies or, or women in the industry who literally just sleep with different men, okay. And they just I don't think that's K Michelle. I don't. K Michelle is crazy as hell, she's rude as hell, she got attitudes problems sometimes too. You know what I'm saying? She's trying to get it together. I don't see her as a cum dumpster. I'm like, you was way off. Your husband looks like more of a cum. Let me stop. Anyway, but for her side, like, you should have let me handle her. For what? You put it off on your damn husband. You know what I'm saying? You had slippers and pearls over there, you know what I'm saying? Trying to <laughs> fight Safari and his slippers and his goddamn them ruby slippers and them pearls. Girl, bye. You're not going to handle K Michelle at all. 
Because you never have, you never will. But, you know, it was what it was. Her mama is mad because, like, mama, that was just stupid. You know what I'm saying? You look stupid, confront her. No, your mama wig looks stupid. And yours does too. But that's neither here nor there. You look dumb, ma. Her mama, don't call me dumb. And then she walked off sleeping. This is the worst, most ghettoist um, interview I've seen on the it, Is y'all on air? You can't be on air because it was too much cussing. And you can't say come. Well, that one part I went on air. You can't say come nothing on air, but she wasn't on air. Anyway, you know, AD pop up at Fizz's house. Do they want to start calling Fizz by his real name? I'm not going to. I'm not calling him Drew. He loved Fizz. Okay, all day. Okay, Fizz was at home and AD popped up to pick up some shoes for, you know, him, Monisa's and uh, Fizz's son. And then, you know, he like, well, this is the most inopportune moment or whatever. I could some things going on. We see what's going on, Fizz. What comes walking down the stairs in some lingerie, okay, barefoot up in the house, all comfy cozy. AD's ex, uh, ex best friend, Tiffany, who also don't get along with Moniz. AD shocked. Uh, I can't believe this. Now they're arguing. You want to break me and uh, Moniz up? I can't believe you tried to break us up. Then I'll say uh, how she had Alexis and someone else um, out with her having people dance on her or whatever and taking pictures to make Moniz feel like that she was cheating. My thing is, you can't say that someone else made someone dance on you. If you are in a relationship, you don't let anyone dance on you. Okay, and if y'all was broken up, what does it matter? Bullshit. Anyway, um, then she said, I feel like, you know, she dating Fizz. I mean, I, yeah, I feel like she dating Fizz just to get back at me. I say, AD, I mean, like, did you want to, like, did y'all ever do it? Like, because your, I mean, your deal, those deals can't be so good that your best friend is upset. Like, I don't get it. I, 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 I don't get it. Like, what my friend, it's just, I don't get it. AD, you can't, you're not that important. I just don't think you are. Anyway. They argue a little bit. She ended up leaving because Fizz said, you know what I'm saying, AD is going to leave. It's going to gonna take shoes to my kid and we'll, we'll know, we'll, we'll talk later. You know, Fizz like, look, I didn't date Tiffany because of her beef with Monique. Like, we met or whatever. We hit it off. And we've been dating and it was what it was. Um, I just hit it off with her. I don't think he wrong for dating her. I think him and Monique are so far removed as, because they are co-parents. They are co-parents. However, I don't think either of them have the right to dictate the other one's love life. I think, if anything, Fizz has more of a right because he seems like more of a stable parent. Whereas Monique is still trying to get stable. So, you know, it's just a bunch of fucking real bullshit. Um, we then see Ray, Ray J and Princess talk. I don't care about seeing Ray Fakely put together a, a, a little uh, toy thing and a goddamn fedora hat piss me off anyway he just basically tell prince that he's he's tricked uh safari into admitting that he fucked a one's wife lyrica and she's like well, you know what you need to stay out of it like i can't believe he would do that but you don't have nothing to do with that it's, it's to stay out of it i'm more shocked that lyrica did it i'm always more shocked that the spouse who cheats cheated than the person who they cheated with went through with it. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, I always feel like the person that you should be the most upset with is the spouse who took the vows. You, like, A1 can be pissed at Safari because that's his friend, but anyone else on the outside looking in, I'm like, I can't believe his wife cheated on him. I don't care who, who she cheated with, but she cheated. You know what I'm saying? And then secondary is, damn it, and Safari, you did that? Like, I was surprised Princess didn't say, I can't believe Lyrica Sex, sex, had sex with him. Nah, it was just crazy. It was crazy to me. You know like if Carla, my best friend, was married and she cheated on her husband, I would say she didn't do it. <laughs> but I don't think Princess and and Lyric are like friends like that. Where you like, I'm gonna ride and die for my best friend. Like a best friend thing is different. If my best friend cheats, she ain't cheat. She ain't do shit. She's innocent. Okay. Um. But in this scenario, I would have been like, well, why did she? Why did? Why did Lyric cheat? She didn't marry one. What the hell going on with that? Anyway, Princess keeps insisting to Ray, like, don't talk about it. It ain't your bit. Like, this, it's not your business. Leave it alone. And he like, you know, it's just a hard for me to look at A1, knowing I know what I know, and, you know, not saying nothing, but I'll mad my business. Good thing to do. We see Brooke and Marcus going to the doctor for her to get her little procedure or whatever. They also so down. Oh, my God, it's so sad. And for me, I feel a little bit taken aback because I feel like, Brooke not going in for cancer treatment 
she's not going in because she found lumps. Brooke is going in for breast reduction. You know what I'm saying? So my fingers I still feel like she was in some way milking the situation to make Marcus feel bad for her and have Marcus around a little bit more. And I don't like when anyone tries to take advantage of such a serious situation as cancer. You know what I'm saying? I've had multiple people in my family pass away from cancer. So um, for me, I'm looking like I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, let's be clear. Brooke is there for a breast reduction surgery, okay? And in the process of that, they're going to take out the lumps and see if it's even cancerous. And the doctor already told her, 9 times out of 10, is benign. Yes, there is an absolute chance that it could be cancer, and that's horrendous to even think about, and anyone should be scared and terrified. I just, a part of me feels like she owns some bullshit to get Marcus back. And the reason I said it too is because she then said, you know what I'm saying, after the surgery done, I need to get my man back. I'm like, bitch... But what if you have cancer? If you have cancer, fuck that man. Again, she used the bullshit anyway. You know, Marcus sitting there like the goddamn oak so where he is. He got his son, he's getting raw oats everywhere. Like, he, I'm here for your support, boo uh, boo Girl, bye. You know, just be, be supportively not shit. Okay, how about you do that? Anyway, um, Lucci. Lucci is, Lucci is literally... And it's like, remember the show, uh, A True Hollywood Story? He is in the making of his true E Hollywood story. How I went broke before I got all my money. This fool, at, he having a hotel party. This is the industry event that Nikki is going to bring Tiara to. I'm like, this is not an industry event. You got a pool with like whipped cream or whatever. It was weird. It was naked girls everywhere. It was a sex party. Okay, you can't. It was a sex party okay and when Lucci was talking to A1 he's like man how much does this cost me whatever man how much man it's twenty thousand dollars a day I don't like bitch twenty grand a day come on if I got money everybody gonna know we see we know I know the IRS know like all the hoes know okay whereas every, everyone knows okay I, it was kind of crazy A1 like man you could have saved that money I'm saying at least did something to invest it this fool who said, you know what, you like the 10th person said it to me. Well, bitch, are you listening? Are you not listening? I'm like, bruh, you stupid. He looked like the kind of person who don't use condoms and then say, man, they kept telling me to put condoms on you. I'm saying, because she got herpes and I got it. Well, bitch, you wasn't listening, okay? Y'all here raw dogging hoes. Y'all here not using condoms and not listening. And you spending 20, 20 grand not listening. Now, see, do I believe he really spent 20 grand? No. I think he spent seven. Okay, but that's neither here nor there. So at this whole porn party, as I said, Tierra was there, so was Nikki, and so was Paris. Paris is the resident. Ooh, girl, no Brandy didn't. I can't believe Cinderella. Brother. That's who she. Is. She don't have no real storyline. She doesn't have any real purpose. She is the sound effects girl. She's the ooh ah girl. I can't. That's what she is. I don't. She has no other purpose on this show. You can't tell no different. Um, but she's funny. I'll give her that. But again, she has no purpose. She's the snoop of this of the franchise. You know what I'm saying? She's snoop. That's what she is. So you know, go snoop like, man, you know what we got? She's the snoop of Hollywood. Um, so we do see a newbie pop up. Um, LA Brit no, La Brittany. She's from Detroit. I don't know who she is. Yes, I live in Detroit, but I do not listen to like underground artists i i barely i barely listen to the radio so there are many artists in detroit who i have no idea who they are um even once they get big i won't know who they are because i just don't pay attention to music like that but she's supposedly a girl from here i think i have heard her name before but could i pick out a lineup no um she not dressed like she's from detroit though we do not walk around and them short shorts with leather boots and leather jackets. Well, no, pleather. Um, so she doesn't not dress like someone from here. Um, but, you know, we're going to see what she gets this season. But she there to, to to introduce herself to A1. And she go up there like he got the, like the key giver of this. I need to work with you or whatever. I'm here to do it. I'm like, girl, damn. I mean, it's A. I guess he the only producer on the show. But I'm like, wasn't Ray Day a producer? Did he no longer produce? Anyway. Um, so again, she's there to meet A1. So she goes, introduces herself, and it was what it was. We don't see much happen from there. We then see as La Brittany and talking to A1 and Lucci, Akbar walk in, see the melee of women and clad and, and all the, the foolishness. He go out to Tierra like, hey. She like, hey, what you doing here? 
well, I can't check on you or whatever. You know what I'm saying? This isn't a entry event. Like, is this what she brings you? This is what Nikki brings you to? I'm like, you came in real hot at Nikki for no reason. Like, it's weird. Like, what the fuck is going on? I don't know. So, he like, you know what I'm saying? Whenever you with Nikki, it's some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Why would she invite you here? It's kind of crazy. Again, this is not an industry party. And Nikki like, what? I, what are you talking about? Da, 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 da. She talking, I don't hear it because her lips are plastic. And sometimes I can't hear plastic when I talk. So, I mean, I think she said, like, I'm not on nobody. Like, plenty of people come to the club that's industry people because she owns the strip club. Um, hence why she's at Luigi Party, who would seem like he frequent the damn strip club and he brought all the strippers to this hotel. So, you know, it is what it is. But the one thing I can say I respect what he said was, I don't want you to relapse. Um, but a way to make a person relapse is keep reminding them that you don't want them to. Like, you keep putting that pressure on them, um, and you don't need to. Um, he keeps saying how Nikki ain't no artist. She's not an executive. Like, she should not be invited to parties. It's not really parties. This is a porn party. And I'm like, you coming into Sean Aguirre, I just don't like it. You know, Tierra and the guy walk away to talk. Tierra, TT, don't be afraid of him. It's like, I'm, I'm not afraid of him. So, on the inside, Tierra, like, look, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I don't need you coming here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Strong army me to do stuff. It's, I'm fine. I don't need anyone coming here, you know what I'm saying, bring up my sobriety. And he's like, you know what, I just want you, you know what I'm saying, I just came to get you, whatever, you know what I'm saying. I don't want you these kind of parties, you know what I'm saying. I just don't want this to happen again. I'm like, who the fuck you talking to, bruh? Is what I would have said. Who the fuck are you talking to? Anyway, Nikki, like, he's possessive, you know what I'm saying. I just don't think he has serious best interest. We know. But now I wonder who looked at the damn tape. Was it him? Or Nikki, because maybe Nikki looked to make him feel like an ass, like an asshole. Anyway, um, we do see AD and it was AD, Monice, and Ray out talking. Um, AD then tell Monice, "Hey, I found out something about uh, Fizz. He dating Tiffany." I can't believe that. I can't believe that. You know what I'm saying? He gonna have to learn to respect me. You know what I'm saying? This is the year of uh, people respecting me. You don't respect yourself, Monique. Because if you did, you would not consistently put yourself in these fucked up situations where you have this crazy, crazy reaction. It's fuckery and bullshit at its finest. So at that point in time, she makes a post on IG. I never get why people who have beef take it to social media. I mean, I don't... I used to do that a lot. When I was young, like in my twenties, I would, and I wouldn't like go on social media like and like talk to people. But if I was mad about something, I would go and I would just vent. You know what I'm saying I'm so mad. This is some I can't believe it. Da, da, da. But I wouldn't be like beefing with people on, on social media. It was just Facebook or whatever. But again, that was like ten years ago. Um, but again, she posts on IG a picture of Fizz and the girl. I can't believe he would. You know why would he fuck her? I'm like, why do you care? You fucking AD. Getting that good dildo dick, you know? Yes, I said good dildo dick. Anyway, um, Tiffany then sees the IG post and she's pissed. Fizz like, oh god, he like, look, just ignore her. Like she just wants, atten- like she wants the attention. You know what I'm saying it's my fault. I didn't really, you know, let them know what's going on or whatever. I'm going to get it all together. But just ignore her because, again, she just wants the attention. And I feel like Moniz is petty and miserable. I, I really, really do. Because um, I feel like she creates some time. She creates drama when there needs not be drama. Like, when the whole thing with her and Princess, that was Princess creating drama. But this particular time, you had no reason to post it on Instagram. Like, who he fucked don't affect you. Because y'all don't even live in the same household. Like, as long as y'all son is okay, why do you care? But, you know, it is what it is. We do see Marcus talking to Stassi. And shit's gonna get real, okay? Um, he... I hate when I be, like, eating a chip. And it be, like, on me or whatever. Uh, because <laughs> it makes my mouth... I keep moving around. Anyway, um, he has been busy with Brooke helping her after her surgery or whatever. So he has not spent much time with Stassi. So he's taking Stassi to a hotel to have some sex at time. And when they get there, she's like, how would you feel um, if, if I was knocked up? His whole face. His whole face. <laughs> he was like, what? Well, I don't know yet. I just, my period is really, really late. I have to take a test. But like, what would you think? If, you know what I'm saying, I was knocked up. He like, hold up. Hold up, hold up, you know. 
we never talked about this. We never talked about kids or whatever. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Can we get a minute? Like, can we talk real quick? He's ta- he's telling he's telling the cameras to like leave so that him and her can talk. And I said to myself, he think he's a star. <laughs> he think he matters, bruh. You not a, you not a big enough star for the cameras to start recording. Like they gonna they gonna record because you're boring. Like you have nothing else to talk about. So. They ain't, gonna, they ain't going nowhere. Like, you might be able to go to the in the corner, but trust and believe your mic going to be on, and they're going to hear everything, and it's going to be what's going to be. So, you know, they do. We do hear what went on, you know. She like, I thought, you know, this would be a special moment for us. I just, uh, you're scaring me. Like, what's going on here? I just don't know. He like, you know, what the, what the fuck? I, you know, I, I'm, I'm caught off guard. You know what I'm saying? I thought you didn't want kids. You know what I'm saying? Am I tripping? She like, yeah, you tripping. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, tripping. My TV is just weird. Will I cut it off? Like, it just go off sometimes. I think, oh no. I think the box is re- This is a stupid, I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all know this is gonna be a question on what happened later. Like, what happened in the middle of... <laughs> <laughs> of me recording, what did I start doing? Oh, you stopped and your TV went off and you don't know what happened because I don't know what happened. I don't know. It's still black, but whatever. I think it's just the cable box resets itself. Oh, yeah, it reset itself. Anyway, um, so that's what I'm gonna ask at the end. This, so the, the so the comment would be what happened at this point in time, and put how what happened without letting nobody else know what happened. Crazy. Anyway. He, she like yeah you are tripping again you're scaring me and whatever you know what she's like you know are, are we official like are we a couple you know you act like we're not tight I say girl this is not the right time to ask him that like you didn't ask him that beforehand like before he came and you you didn't know if y'all was a couple together no you didn't okay if you say so yep not that one um but the weird part was like you act like we're not tight he then was like bear hugging her and I'm like is he trying to squeeze the baby up on him like what's I mean he was just hugging her so tight like if he squeezes her hard enough like she won't be pregnant and I'm looking like bro let her go like it was just weird to me that part and I was like I don't know what's going on um Lyrica and A1 damn was that much left not really but still Lyrica get home I'm so sorry excuse me she at their house. She's not at her mom's house because she saw footage of A1 at that porn party. So she goes to the house, like, I'm saying, him some bullshit. He act like he's single, or like he divorced already yet, and I don't like it. So A1 walk in, and first of all, I'm like, are they both in track suit jackets, and why is that? Is it going to be someone got them cake batter being thrown? I guess not. So she, like, he looks shocked that she's there. And then, um... So, you just go to porn parties or whatever? Ain't that two chicks eating each other out? I'm looking like, well, who recorded that? And they said, was he in it? Like, was he like was he involved? I'm confused. You know, you act like you already divorced. And he like, oh, <laughs> you won't answer. Now you won't answer, but you couldn't answer me when I questioned you about Safari. Don't try to flip the script on me or whatever. This ain't about me. I'm looking like, look, calm down, girl. Just, just calm down because he right. Your husband asked you about some bullshit and you had no answers for him. It was what it was. At this point in time, they just start tossing insults at, at each other. It was the weirdest. It was like a gay woman and a gay man arguing. I was just confused. You know what I'm saying? He like she told him you got fake dreads, fake jewelry, you know what I'm saying? I was with you when you wasn't nobody. I was with you when you was on food stamps and no one thought you were any talent. He tell her you got fake hair, fake ass, fake tits. Fake face, fake cheekbones. I was like, bitch. Okay. I was like, everything <laughs> fake. She like, uh, no, he then said, if my jewelry fake, then that means that your jewelry fake too because I bought it for you. What well, is it real? Is my wedding ring real? Is the love real? He said, hell no. <laughs> he said, everything I bought you has always been fake. I said, you, I, I'm confused because who admits that? Like, who admits that you've been by your wife fake? This is this is what made K. Michelle say y'all have a fake ass marriage and y'all faking it so y'all can make it. Because if he's saying, oh, it was some fake jewelry or whatever, and if you said, yo, 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 you flat in the back, is he supposed to have a big ass? Like, what is that? I don't like. I don't want a man with a big ass. Like, I don't. I don't care if a man 
ass is pancake in the back. As long as the front ain't no pancake, I'm good. Like, I don't get how that was an insult to him to say, your ass is flat. He's a man. I don't care if a man has a flat ass. He's not supposed to have a juicy booty. He isn't, okay? I don't want I don't want a, a juicy booty man. I really, really don't. Um, she then, he, no, he said, nothing about you was real. The love wasn't real. He then said, you a bum. Okay, you a bum in these streets. You know what I'm saying? Your pussy is crooked. Cable shit was right. I said, her pussy crooked? What part? Like, it was crooked. How you get in there? I mean, I was so confused. And then, she, you would never a producer. You a fake, you a fake producer. Da, da, da. I'm like, oh, my God. They were, like, it's, it was crazy. You know what I'm saying? We then see... Um, he like, you know what? You know what? I'm done with you. Okay? I'm done with you. I'm done with you. I'm... No, 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 no. Fuck these cameras. I want a divorce. I'm looking like, well, God damn it. Okay? Well, I assume I'm done means I want a divorce, but I guess he wanted to make sure that she was, she, that she was clear on what he meant. So, um, we do see, um, who was it? Marcus has to leave Stassi pregnant, so, because Brooke texts him 911. He think it's something wrong because she had a whole little surgery or whatever. He walk in like, Brooke, Brooke, you are Brooke. She come out, what, you, well, yeah, I'm here. She walk around with a coat and, and a little kimono with two wine glasses and some wine, like everything fine. He like, you you called me now, one one like it was an emergency, what's going on? Oh, I, it's some news I couldn't, I can't tell you the phone. Like, come, come sit down. Like, it was, it's, a, it's a celebration, bitches. So they sit down and she says, hey, the doctor's called. I don't have, you know, this, this, the the lumps were not cancerous, it was benign, I'm fine. Results came back next to, whoo, amen, thank God. So, she did say, I'm doing good, like it's pain here, pain there, but I'm doing good overall. I'll be back to normal eventually. And, you know, so what's up? He like, nothing, you know what I'm saying, me and Stassi gonna go up to the movies later. And she was like, you really think, think you have a girlfriend? I mean, no, he has a girlfriend. And then, she's like, look. Can you just dismiss her already? Like, you was out here being having fun, you know what I'm saying? When you get horned, you call her, she open her legs or whatever. But you need to let this be done with that. And he like, you know what I'm saying? Brooke did the same shit last year. She found out I was talking to somebody else. She asked me to let them go. And when I did, she then left me too and said, fuck you. So I ain't trying to leave this thing here for her because she be full of shit. So, you know, she's like, well, you know, this is kind of crazy. You supposed to be my husband soon. You know what I'm, saying? I'm wearing a ring. You got me. You know, you stole that ring, girl. You stole it. You a thief, okay? Thief is what you are. Um, But, you know, we she be talking about, uh, about marriage and being serious. And he like, you on some bullshit. You know what I'm, saying? I'm not over the bullshit that you did before. And I don't know what I'm doing yet. But what I do know is, you know I'm saying? If you can't prove to me that you really want to be with me and you ain't bullshit, you know what I'm saying? I don't want it. I said, well, God damn it. I mean, Brooke looked like, I can't believe him. I, girl, Brooke, you look, girl, you look desperate, okay? Desperate, okay? With all the letters, in all caps, all caps. Anyway, the last thing we see, it would seem too much. You know, we see uh, Bonice and AD and Fez and the new girl Tiffany. Um, excuse me. Beating up, you know, he apologized to them, saying, you know what I'm saying? It was my fault that y'all found out how y'all found out. Uh, but yeah, me and her dating now, and I did not want to try to find out that way, but I'm hoping we can all get along. You know, Monique is like, well, um, Tiffany, can we be like cool or whatever? Like, can it be, can it be fine? She then says, you know what I'm saying? I don't have a personal issue with you, so, you know, I don't have an issue with you. Monique then said, but you do because at the reunion, you were talking shit about me. Her and AD both bring it up. Bitch, everyone talks shit at the reunion. Like, it's what happens. Like, get over it. And I think she meant was, what she meant was, that wasn't personal. It was just, we was on the show arguing. But I don't I don't really have a beef with you. Um, But Monique is like, you know what, Fez? You know what I'm saying? You can't be a mouse. I don't trust you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gone. I'm like, again, Monique just likes the drama. The drama. She is bad shit cuckoo. You know, it feels like, you know what? Um, I feel like Monique's going to have to get over it because me and her together, me and Tiffany's together, and it's, you know, it is what it is, so she's going to have to just leave it alone. Monique's like, all your girlfriends that have always been rude to me, they have never respected me, you beat up one girl. So my thing is, you have to realize that not only does his girls have to respect you, but you need to respect them first. If you keep, if you argue with them first, they not going to 
You can't come at me with that negative energy and, and like, I'm going to just take it because you happen to have this baby. Like, bitch, no. Like, we need to respect each other as adults. Point back into the period. So, you never support me. You know what I'm saying? You never have my back. And he like, that's bullshit. I have had your back. He said, I get put into bullshit defending you because you do crazy shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what? It's, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, Monice is delusional. When she said he never has my back, he never. Yes, he do. We've seen him have it. Um, he does not for your bullshit. And when you full of shit, he don't back you up. When you, when you full of shit, but he will back you up in certain instances where he has to. But you can't expect expect that man to keep. You know what I'm saying? G- getting shot because you full of shit, Monique. You just can't do that. You know, Monique's then go after Tiffany. Some like, have your kids, send your porns. Your kid then send your pussy off. I'm like. You get pissed when anyone mentions your kid, but you going to bring up her kid to her. Monice, shut the fuck up forever. Like, you can't do that. And I feel like in that instance when Tiffany was like, bring up my kid again. Do it again. Does your, does your child know? And then we see her try to get at Monice, but it goes, the show goes off. Um, I feel like, well, she leaves and they don't fight or whatever. Um, I feel like. Tiffany ain't gonna beat that ass one good time. I feel like they're gonna have some kind of altercation. Probably not to the reunion. Uh, not to the reunion. Um, or later on the season. Who knows? But, I mean, Monique, you can't do that, my mom. You can't be the one to say, no one can question my parenting. No one should bring up my child. And then you keep bringing up other people's kids. You can't do that shit because it makes you look like a fucking hypocrite. And it's the reason people think you're delusional because you do the same shit that you accuse other people of doing to you that you don't like. You can't do that to people. I'm a firm believer and don't bring kids into it because if you bring kids into it every parent gets pissed off and just don't. It's just stupid. Anyway, and that's kind of what it was. That was the end of it. So put your comments below. Do not forget to like the video, share the video, and subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Anyway, I'm done. Peace.